I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago painting we are not done i think we are far from done so far from done um guys don't do not buy water paint okay just go for enamel paint <laughs> because water paint will strain you so what we're going to do is after applying the second coat of water paint we're going to just go with enamel we're going to buy a five liter enamel and then mix it a little bit with a thinnest to to make it a little bit thinner and then um we're gonna finish but yeah this is how it looks so far i am tired honestly right now <laughs> i am so tired and yeah we're just waiting for it to dry this is the kitchen side so it's a lot of work a whole lot of work but i'm glad it's happening finally um so that you know we can get things going i actually need to change these um what are these things called Ish, i lose my words i want them to look like those ones the handles yes the handles on the cupboard need to change to look like these ones over here so let's just get done with the painting first and then i'll do all the other stuff later but i just wanted to give you an update on how things are looking so these are this is how things are looking so far I'll see you guys later. So in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the painting, I decided to wash the carpet as well because it was getting a really dirty and now it looks a lot better. It looks like the original carpet that I know. So I've just decided to wash it because I mean, the sun is out it's hot so it's gonna dry a lot faster because another thing that I'm thinking about is that if tomorrow it rains 
then it's a problem so i'd rather just get it over and done with and yeah i didn't record when i was washing this because i'm just busy <laughs> i'm really busy so i just decided to just show you guys once it's washed and this is how it looks designers hello home decor lovers and welcome to another episode of homemade easy <laughs> i don't know why i said like that but welcome to another episode of homemade easy so this is where i show you guys my baby please stop this is where i show you guys my journey into decorating this home that we are living in right now um i call it homemade easy because i wanted it to be an easy and smooth um experience for everyone involved including my family so last week you guys saw we were painting the house and we actually finally finished and the paint is dry which i'm so excited about and today i actually wanted to install um some of the things or maybe not install but hang up the tv and hang up a mirror behind this wall on this wall behind me actually so that's what i wanted to get up to today and actually a little bit of diy's so that's what i wanted to do and yeah i'm trying to make this decorating process the most effortless and the most easy as possible so <laughs> i hope it pans out like that but yeah welcome to the vlog and welcome to the video i hope you guys enjoy it i'll see you later so we want to mount a mirror up there um i've already set it up but i'm not really impressed with how everything is i still need to decorate this space really really well but i think the mirror is going to create a good focal point on this wall um so yeah we're going to mount the mirror and see how everything looks then i just need proper decor pieces for this side so i am currently I'm gonna DIY these four pieces and not really DIY but repaint them because I want them to match the aesthetics and I want them to match the colors of the home I'm gonna mostly go with um, a beige white those type of colors so that everything pops um, yeah so that is what we are going to do and as well as mount the TV on the wall because I want the TV to be up on the wall so that I have space for some decor over um, under the um, the TV or on top of the what is this what is this called TV stand why am I forgetting a TV stand anyways yeah that is what we are doing right now so that this place can finally be put together and um another thing that i've i've really um trying to put focus on is a repetition because a home is only i think it really becomes really beautiful when there's repetition in the space so i want to start with that and then work my way into decorating everything else so that is what we are actually doing right now i want to get a pot plant or a planter to put this branch inside so that it looks like it's in a planter and yeah <laughs> that's what i want to do but right now let's mount the tv and see how it looks up on the wall i love that the wall is white now it looks so amazing so things are finally coming together and i'm excited so I also wanted to show you guys during the course of the week, I got myself a tripod stand and this is how it looks. I think it looks really gorgeous, looks really good and it does the job. Um, simply because I feel like when I film using my phone as I'm holding my phone right now, the film is really shaky and I don't like, I don't like that. Baby, stop. Baby, wait. Baby, Kingy. Hey, boo. Okay, so um, I felt that my film was a bit shaky, so I went ahead and got this, and it does an amazing job. So you can see it 
it um it's a flexible stand so you can change the way you i guess place it and yeah i really like it um it has been doing a really amazing job since i've got it and yeah we are we are putting back um you know <laughs> we are going oh baby wait please can mommy record and finish color ne ne can mommy record and finish May I please record and finish? Yeah? May I please record and finish? Ne? Okay, so as I was saying, um, yeah, the stand is really, really helpful. So, okay, guys, I have to love and leave you. <laughs> ah, there's no peace. Okay. I want to change the color of all these vases before I attempt to buy new ones I need to know that these work for my space so I am gonna just upgrade them um, a bit of color especially for this one and I'm gonna use the bicarbonate of soda for that and as well as this one um, here so I just want to do a quick DIY to change the aesthetic of these vases because i realized that i have quite a few vases but they do not match at all you know so i really want to make them match and make them complement the space as well is how everything is looking so far after I've painted um, some are cream uh, neutral colors and then some are white so I just need to do the last coat of everything then I'll be done So I almost painted the entire house, <laughs> but um, it's actually things that I wanted to give 
like a revamp or an upgrade like this tray this was like it, it had a lot of colors it was like a rainbow tray and i wanted it to be different and um these uh, salt and pepper shakers i also love the color so i've actually just you know put color in everything actually just one color and this is how i wanted how i imagined this would look so let me get this stuff in the house and paint um and give them one last coat and then let them out to dry So this is what I've managed to do with this uh, stand you guys everything that you see here is almost everything is DIY most of them I guess um, so I just have this uh, long pampas grass over on the side here and then I painted this but I think I still need to give it one last coat of paint it still has an undertone of green so I need to paint it again I DIY this um, this art piece with a piece of linen and um i'm not sure what else but yeah i diy this and then i just painted this i love love how it looks with um the the texture on it and then these books i got from from china mall i love when they turned like this because on the other side they don't really look as nice and then when we go down here these are the other pieces that I just painted um, this um, face uh, figure or statue wait let me focus and this vase and the one that was silver at the back doesn't look too nice but I think I'm gonna fix it and then over to the side I just have this book stand or bookshelf thing I got these at pep home actually was really really affordable and I just have some books I don't like the writings at the back of the book so I just use the front of the book so that it looks amazing and then at the bottom here I just have these two identical vases actually this one was gray this one I left as is it was white so I just painted this one and I gave it a bit of texture as well while this one is more acrylic but I really love how they look and then down here this was a tray that i had it had a different colors that i didn't like so i'm grateful or i'm happy that i'm able to use this tray anywhere else in the house i put keys or whatever it is and then this um what is this um so this candle stand um i got from mr price home it was silver and I actually have another one. I need to bring in the other one and paint it as well. I love how it turned out. And I just have a full um, plant over there. So yeah, guys, this is how my stand looks right now. And I'm really, really happy on how it turned out. It just, you know, it brings, it, it, it has a pop of color, even though most of the colors are actually neutral. But it looks really, really nice. I'm very, very impressed. And over here, I just need to put a mirror and then we're going to be done the one thing that i need to do though i need to diy the mirror and actually paint it black so that it can match the stand and that's it for this corner so the reason why i was diying these vases is because i love the vases that i saw at pep home so i wanted to to kind of you know diy the ones that i have first and you know upscale them or upgrade them so that I know what I'm working with and I know the ones that I'm going to get at Pep Home, they're actually black. So I'm going to leave them as they are because most of the things that I have already are in a neutral color. So I'm really, really excited. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And oh wait, down here, I need actually baskets that I'm going to put here with our throw blankets. So that's the only thing, those are the only things that I'm missing. But otherwise, I am excited. I love it. I love it. I love it. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Like, 
comment share with your friends and family this is a diy channel a home decor channel home decor inspiration so thank you so much guys for watching i will see you on the next one bye